Hi friends, in this video I will show you how to make USB storage devices read-only. Now uh, you may think that what is the new need of making uh, any USB drives read-only. So there are so many reasons uh, behind this. To protect the data available in the USB drives such as pen drives or external hard disks. So following are the reasons. To block users from writing files to external devices. To prevent the USB devices from viruses or malwares that is much more important to protect the data available in the devices. Data present in the USB storage devices cannot be modified. To prevent the right access on your computer's USB ports. So guys, uh, these are the reasons why we should make our USB ports read-only. So let's see how to uh, make it possible. So guys, I will first go to my computer. As uh, you can see here, I have an uh, 8 GB USB disk. And if I try to copy something from or to this USB disk, I'll be able to do it because it's not write protected, right? And this is what it makes it vulnerable. Any virus comes with this USB can destroy my PC. So what we can do is we can make our USB ports read only so that these external devices drive devices or drives becomes write protected. Suppose any exe file or viruses comes within this USB, your computer will tell that virus that you are not allowed to execute on this computer and it will protect against any threat. So uh, let's see how we are going to do it. So click on uh, so go to run command and click uh, type R E D E D I T that is registry editor. So it will open the registry editor snap ins. So basically it's a database, a hierarchical database that stores the configuration settings and options on Windows operating system. Now, it contains two basic elements, those are keys and values. Now keys are container objects similar to the folders and registry values are non-container objects similar to the files. So these, all these are the keys, like if you may see, key may contain the other keys, right? And whatever the values are here, we can provide a value and we can change the settings and configuration of your PC. So first we will see what keys and what values we are going to provide. So we are going to follow this path. We are going to provide, we are going to create a new key that is storage device policies. Under that key, we have to create another key that is write protect and we have to provide some value to this key so we'll go to the path expand h key local machine under h key local machine expand system under system expand con current control set and under current control set expand the control now just guys be make sure and be very careful while making any changes in the registry because it can make also harm to your computer so what i'm going to do is before making any changes i'm just going to take the backup of this 
path so I'm just going to right click on this control and click on export okay so uh, this will create a backup file of this registry path I'm just giving control and I'm just going to save it on my external device because uh, there's no use of uh, saving this backup file on your C drive if anything happens to your computer you will no longer be able to access it right so I just saved my backup file on my USB disk <coughs> now uh, we have to create a key so we are already onto this path so I'm just going to copy this right click on control and click on new and click on key okay so it will create a new key under the control right and I'm going to give it a name as storage device policies so once you click on storage device policies in the right hand side panel you have to create another key value so what's that key value I'm just going to copy this uh, you can find this into the video description you can copy it from there so I'm just going to copy the right protect right click on the right panel click on new and click on D word value I'm giving it to a name as right protect so what we do is we already created we created a key in order to make our USB ports read only and our USB or external hard disk write protect so I'm just going to double click on it and you can see the value data into here is by default zero which is zero is for disable so I'm just going to change it to one to make it enable click on OK and just refresh it now I'll just minimize my registry I'm just going to close it now your USB is uh, read only but in order to take these changes in effect you have to restart your computer so I'm just going to restart my computer and I'll be back welcome back guys so I just have restarted my computer and if I go to my uh, USB disk uh, you can see there are four files one is the one uh, the backup file of that registry we have taken earlier so if uh, anything uh, could have been happened to my computer I would have I, I can just uh, restore my registry by using this backup file prior to the changes we already did right now as we have uh, made our USB ports read only if I try to copy something from my computer that is I, I'll try to copy one song mp3 song to my USB disk it will show you that this disk is write protected so remove the write protection or use another disk right so I'm just going to cancel it so in this way uh, anything that is within your USB disk some viruses or malwares it cannot be executed on your computer now what if you and pl guys please note that uh, this procedure does not make your USB disks uh, read only on another computer so if you try to connect this USB disk to another machine uh, you can easily copy something to it or easily copy something from it but it will not happen on this machine as I made the USB ports of this machine as read only not the USB disks okay 
Now what if you want to remove this uh, right protection? So just go to the path again, H key local machine, system, con control set, expand the control and the value we created was storage device policies right if you remember under that we created on the value that is right protected double click on it and change the value as zero from one which will disable the right protection from your usb disks click on ok and restart your machine your usb ports will be again uh, writable thank you for watching this video thank you for watching this video if you want to find us some more shortcut methods please visit this youtube channel and don't forget to press the subscribe button